According to CNBC, 58% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, which to me, that is absolutely crazy to think. And the amount of stuff that we put money into that we really don't need to, to break that paycheck to paycheck cycle. In this video, we're gonna be talking about 19 things that you can cut out of your budget to actually get back and break that paycheck to paycheck cycle. Starting with number one, gym memberships. When it comes to Planet Fitness, LA Fitness, when it comes to Powerhouse Gym, gym memberships are very expensive with a very cheap and free alternative. Now you might minus out the equipment, but there's a lot of total body workouts that you can do on YouTube and apps. There's a lot of different places that you can get everything completely free, which again, when you're living paycheck to paycheck, eliminating some of these expenses are going to be vital. Even if it is just short term that you're cutting out the gym membership, it is very important till you get your debt under control, till you get your budget under control and you know exactly what you're spending. Number two, we look at credit card fees. Credit card not only have interest rates, some of them do have annual fees, some of them have different fees associated with them, late fees that are associated with them. You really want to make sure and ensure that you're paying down your credit card debt, the reoccurring charges on the cards as well. When it comes to subscription services, when it comes to reoccurring charges, everybody is looking to get just a couple dollars from you. $5 for this, $7 for this, $12 for this. Even a lot of applications that I've noticed have reoccurring charges. And of course, if you are doing cash advances, they have a cash advance fee. Or if you are late on your payment, they can also have a late payment fee as well as a late payment or a much higher charge if you are late on a payment. Number three, we look at life insurance. Life insurance is very important at a certain stage in life, guys. When it comes to life insurance, living paycheck to paycheck, you're putting money out in case something happens. And again, I do advise with premiums, with life insurance, with you know getting a life insurance policy when you can afford it. If you are so far in debt that you're living paycheck to paycheck, cutting out some of the things like that are going to be imperative at this point. And I know a lot of people will go ahead and fight me on it, but the protection, the security will be there once you get the budget under control. Next one we look at is the banking fees. There is no reason in the world anyone should be paying banking fees, whether it is overdraft fees, whether it is transfer fees, monthly fees, maintenance fees. There are so many places, including your local credit unions where I work at, that have no fees, that have no minimum balances, that have no usage requirements, that have no ATM fees. There are so many things out, of the, out there that you really have to explore. So if you're paying bank fees today, this day and age, eliminate the bank account, find another bank account, and make sure that you clean that up. Next one we focus on is the expensive phone plans. When you look at some of the phone plans, you can get pick up and go phones, you can get kind of using, um, use as you go phones. There's a lot of different options and I know Verizon has a lot of different options as well. A lot of different plans, which again, at the time of living paycheck to paycheck, you are looking for every single line item that you can eliminate or you can reduce within that budget to get and break that paycheck to paycheck cycle. There's a lot of, again, expensive phone plans where do you need the unlimited data? Do you need the unlimited talk, the unlimited text? Literally having everything untethered in its entirety. Are you actually using what you're paying for? For a majority of people, that is not the case where they have a you know fully functional, expensive cell phone plan where you could go to a cheaper plan and keep everything in budget while saving some money in the short term by cutting out the paycheck to paycheck spending. Next one we focus on is buying full price items. New stuff is expensive, guys. When you look at clothing, when you look at a lot of different places, if you're looking to shred your budget, there's a lot of things that you can get online. Facebook Marketplace is a great place. Secondhand stores, resale shops, Salvation Army, a lot of different places that you can find a ton of used items if you do need, including looking for discounts through anything that you can. There's a lot of things if you're looking to go out, if you have expenses in your life, you can get a lot of things through Groupon that are much cheaper. Doing the same things that you need and making sure that you're not paying full price for items. And of course, paycheck to paycheck, we are eliminating one of the absolute fan favorites, which is eating out. When you go out and eat, the food is more expensive than it is cooking at home, depending on what you're eating. But again, looking at our budget, looking at our spending, we are gonna eliminate and pause the eating out at this point, just to be able to, like Dave Ramsey says, beans and rice. Now I know it's not literal beans and rice, but it's very, very cheap and making sure that you're maximizing um, what you're cooking at home and what you're spending when you go to the grocery store. A lot of alternatives around here, even when you look at Aldi's or when you look at um, bulk shops or discount shops, 
There's a lot of ways that you can meal prep, which is incredibly, incredibly um, cost efficient and the cost savings when it comes to buying things in bulk, like let's say, you know, chicken breasts and things like that. If you're buying them at Kroger and other stores, they can be very expensive when you're buying, you know, two or three or a package at a time. Buying them in bulk, meal prepping everything, even taking some and freezing them makes a really big difference. And of course, with the eating out is the delivery fees. We see these with DoorDash, we see them with Grubhub. Not only are you paying for your food that is on the menu, most of the time you're paying a delivery fee or a delivery fee for the service, and then you're tipping on top of the delivery fee, which can really absorbently raise the amount that you're paying when it comes to eating out, when it comes to those delivery. The total cost is usually almost 30 to 40% of what you're paying for the actual item, which is kind of crazy to think, but it is very expensive with the extra charges. A lot of them also do have minimum fees, um, surcharges depending on the time that you're looking to, to go ahead and order your food, additional delivery costs, additional tax that are included with it. Getting the food yourself is much cheaper than getting it delivered, but I know a lot of people do not wanna go out. This is a big one for me, you guys. Cable television, we cut the cord actually years ago, saving $189 a month, getting rid of our Xfinity. We went to our smart TV, so we just rely on our internet, and it is a game changer. There are so many ways that you can um, utilize a smart TV. If you got a smart TV, if not, they have the, the Roku, they have you know Google Chrome. There's a bunch of different things that you can actually get for your television to make it a smart TV which again, it's a little bit of a change, but the adjustment is much and well deserved and well needed. In addition, a lot of the streaming services you can get free in a bunch of different places. There's even a lot through like the, your cell phone provider that offer you free cable stations or free streaming services just because you do have the cell phone plan with them. And of course, on the same note of buying the second hand is buying used or excuse me, buying name brands. Name brands, of course, are going to come with a very, very high premium price. If you're looking at store brands, if you're looking at Polo, you know, Ralph Lauren, they're going to be a lot more expensive than buying any of the off brands going to other places. Again, and if you're really looking in to buy those brands, buying them at secondhand stores will go ahead and serve the purpose that you're looking for. And again, a lot of these guys that we talk about are the paycheck to paycheck, that 58% that need to cut the budget and really streamline the process somewhere, which of course, premium music services. Again, when I said, when you're looking at what is $4 here, $5 here, $7 here, premium services for music, premium services for everything, even if it is you don't have to listen to ads or you don't have to watch commercials, Majority of things you can get free. It does come with the caveat, again, of having to watch ads or listen to advertisements, but you are saving the money. The primary focus, again, getting back to it, is getting out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle. And this one kind of drives me crazy. I see a lot of individuals that, again, they get their income, they do their expenses, they're in the red or they're considerably in the red. However, when I look through their banking statements, spa treatments, salon treatments, getting the hair colored, getting the nails done, getting all kinds of treatments when you are in the red. Guys, this again, even if it is short term, eliminating all of the, the really the wants in life, and this is the category that is really going to get small very fast, is eliminating a lot of these wants. And again, in the short term, it is going to be a little bit tough to do. In the long term, your future self is going to thank you for go ahead and cutting those out. Buying new books, this is another one, guys. When you're buying new books, if you look at Amazon, if you look at a bunch of different places, if you don't use audiobooks, new books are expensive. When you're actually buying the paperback, you're talking 20, 30, 40, we've even seen some that are $50 for a book. Local library, I use my library as well as my kids for a ton of content, because not only do they have the books if you wanna go rent them, if you go wanna take them out, they also have digital libraries online, which are completely free because those are covered through your, you know, your local taxes and covered through the county that you live in. Then we get into impulse buying. This is one of my pet peeves. Twenty-five to three thousand dollars a year is on average what Americans are spending, and again, fifty-eight percent of Americans are paycheck to paycheck. Impulse spending is another three grand per year that is buying things at checkout, that are buying things that are not on the list that are buying things that are not in the budget and not prepped for, again, those are gonna be eliminated. 
taking a daily coffee or getting lunch on a daily basis, very expensive. If you're looking and getting, let's say like a Starbucks coffee, um, we have a saltwater cafe. We have a couple local places, five, seven, ten $10 for a coffee. That's incredible. I use my Keurig machine with Starbucks coffee. It runs about, I, I think around 42 cents a pod. The water might cost a little bit, the electricity a couple, you know, a little bit, but I can have, what is that at, at let's say 50 cents a pod. I can have six to eight cups of coffee for the one that I would buy if I actually went to Starbucks, which means I can spend over a week having coffee at home versus buying one coffee for one day at your local place. And lunch is another one, very, very expensive. I see everything, you know, from where if you're going to McDonald's, it's 10, it's 12, it's $15, Jersey Mike's, Panera Bread. If you're getting soup and a sandwich, it runs about 12 to $14. It's kind of crazy with consumer price index and how high costs have gotten that a lot of people still eat out at those incredibly high price tags. Paycheck to paycheck, cutting out higher car expenses, luxury cars, luxury vehicles, this is, again, another thing that I see where a lot of people are struggling um, budget-wise. They're living paycheck to paycheck. However, they have a $1,200 car payment or higher, which, again, is kind of crazy. When you look at the average car payment in the United States, it's around, I believe, 687 was the last number that I've seen. So paying $700 for a car payment is the average, which, again, to me, is just absolutely crazy to think. If you're an individual living paycheck to paycheck, what is the purpose of your car? Fundamentally, you have to think of the need. It takes me from point A to point B with reliable transportation. Does that mean you need an $800, $1,000, $1,200, $1,500 a a $1, car payment? Absolutely not. You can get by with a $300, $400 car payment, possibly even less, because then when you're putting insurance on top of that, which higher end cars, of course, higher value, higher insurance. We see people that are paying one, two, three hundred dollars a month in um, car insurance. So when you're buckling on a twelve hundred dollar payment with a three hundred dollar insurance payment, you're paying fifteen hundred dollars. And it was on an individual that works from home. That is right. Parked in the garage, just sits there, costing them an arm and a leg, living paycheck to paycheck, doesn't have any money to go and do anything, but they're not giving up the vehicle. Next one we focus on is the clothing purchase. This again falls right into the need category. When you start looking at, you know, the bucket of what do you actually need? Is it clothes you need for work? Is it fundamentally things that you need? A lot of people build what is called a capsule wardrobe, um, high quality basic items that you can kind of mix and match with a bunch of different ways, keeping, you know, the colors very neutral. You know, you have the blacks, you have the whites, the tans, the grays. Um, being able to mix entire wardrobes when, with keeping it very affordable and keeping it also very slim. And again, you might splurge every now and then, but we're trying to break that paycheck to paycheck cycle. And I always see lottery tickets and gambling. This is a phenomenon that has actually come and hit home very hard in Michigan because we started online gambling. So there was a point where they opened casinos. You actually had to go there if you wanted to go to the casinos. Now the online gambling has been opened. You can literally do it anywhere within the state, have to be in the state if you win, but lottery tickets, I see a lot of people buying, and I know it is an addiction. There's gambling hotlines, things of that nature, but living paycheck to paycheck, yet a majority or a portion of the paycheck is going to the lotto or going to gambling is crazy, again, to me to think, and it should be to you as well. Now, we talked about subscriptions a little bit earlier. Now, we know there's a lot of things like Rocket Money, and there's a bunch of different places that will cancel unused subscriptions. This is probably one of the biggest things. They said roughly with subscriptions, Americans are paying $200 plus a month for subscriptions, and a majority of subscriptions they are not even using, which means you're just shelling your money out the door. You're giving it away to these companies for a product or a service that you're not using in any methodology and not using in its entirety, which again is kind of crazy. The paycheck to paycheck cycle can be incredibly difficult, not only mentally guys, but when it comes to the financial burden that it can put on a relationship, that it can put on a family, the, the priority in really cutting back on the paycheck to paycheck mentality, you have to cut everything you can and it's time to get real and it's time to get honest about it, looking at your budget and seeing exactly what you can cut out of the budget because now is the time to really eliminate those expenses so you don't have to worry about them in the future. 
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.